So you probably wonder what is the cause of this problem. Uh, this is a 2012 uh, Peterbilt with a Cummins ISX engine, if you wonder. Um, the engine was repaired 180,000 miles ago, uh, like a year ago, the owner told me. And uh, it sounds like a, a very expensive problem. Um, it has misfire. Um, and you can see a lot of smoke coming from the tailpipe that is clearly fueled and is not getting burned not not burn at all and that's the reason why you have a lot of smoke coming from the tailpipe but anyway um, uh, i did went to the process to check what is going on using a computer and uh with the coming software i couldn't find anything wrong no injector malfunction non-engine malfunction at all which means then this is a mechanical problem also i did a cylinder cutoff test an injector cutoff test and um and after doing all the cylinders i find out that the cylinder number six was the one then uh it wasn't getting any power uh, the other ones are working but are not working strong enough but cylinder number six specifically is the one that has no power at all and um if you uh remember um the video i posted at the beginning uh you hear that the maximum amount of uh like pressure release pressure exhaust is coming from the cylinder number six so um there is no way to check mechanical components without removing the uh, cylinder head or something like that because in this case it's clearly a mechanical failure uh, where the failure is that is what i'm going to show you uh, locally i have with me uh, my endoscope camera in my other video i use it as well uh, trying to find out what's the cause of a detroit engine making a, a clack sound from the engine so uh, in this case when i use it to uh, inspect the internal components of cylinder number six in this case uh, obviously i already record the video before so that way uh, i'm going to show you the demonstration of what i did keep in mind then to use the uh, endoscope camera you have to remove everything and you have to re uh, remove the injector number six which i did so without mind uh, i'm going to show you that but before that if you don't know what an endoscope camera is it is this uh, little uh, cable here then has a camera here then allows you to introduce it everywhere i talk about it in my other video but i want to show you anyway in case you haven't seen my other video but uh, we want to go straight to inspection which i have here on the device already saved so um i just want to turn the device on and um and the camera is not connected that's why it's not saying that so i want to go to my previous recordings and um and we have the video right here so we're gonna go and start the inspection process right now so now you can clearly see the internal components of the um, engine so uh, you can see everything looks closer uh this is a good benefit to have a tool like this because you can um get access to the internal components of the engine you can clearly see cylinder number six is completely removed the line the fuel line and everything to remove the injector this is a process that you have to do if you want to do inside the injector sleeve you have to remove the injector and uh, with no problems uh, we can introduce the camera inside the combustion chamber uh, uh, the injector sleeve we have just to make the way inside the orifice of the injector and we are in as soon as we get in you can clearly see some marks uh some wire marks some kind of like that that is something unusual and you can see then the uh, piston has a lot of fluid which is not completely normal so uh you can clearly see a drop you saw that drop of fluid that is because we're having a problem a major problem with this engine this is not a normal problem 
we have a super serious problem and that's the reason why we have so we want to change the camera to see the uh, cylinder head and as you can see there is no problems right there everything looks cool but uh, you could see that right now let's see uh, I had hard time turning the camera to that way because of the camera it was too stiff at the moment but you can clearly see water marks see those water marks those are clearly a sign of a broken cylinder head um, if you pay attention closely you can see the little crack of the cylinder head and this is the reason why we are getting a no compression or exhaust uh, sound on cylinder number uh, six because we have a cracked head and you can see the cylinder balding has some damage there is some damage there too see there is more damage there around the valve i'm pretty sure it's because of the uh, amount of coolant that is getting dropped inside the combustion chamber and that is the reason why we have some damage there in the other valve we also have some damage you can clearly see right on the bottom on the other side of the valve we can see some damage there uh, this is a uh, a very good way to inspect the internal components of your cylinder head or your, or your pistons or anything because I was able to do this without removing the engine the engine is still together I, I haven't taken anything apart but thanks to this camera I'm able to see all these internal components and you can clearly see damage over the head and this is all because of the cylinder uh, crack because of the coolant getting dropped inside the combustion chamber intake valve has a little damage see that intake valve has a little crack there which is not good it's possible then we are getting also intake uh, pre-compression leak and uh, uh, that's the reason why it's important to see four of the valves to see if we have more damage than just the damage that we already know then is present on this engine but uh, after getting a closer look on the problem of this Cummins ISX, this is how it looks when you have a cylinder head that is cracked. Uh, if you are getting the problem then you're getting uh, coolant consumption and there is no leaks there is nothing it's possible then something like this is happening to your engine and uh, the clearly the, the, the only repair for this is to replace the cylinder head in some occasions because this cylinder head could have a crack uh, some of the manufacturers some of the dealers are not going to uh, receive this uh, cylinder head as a core so it will depend on where uh, you take the cylinder head but one thing for sure you cannot reuse the cylinder head and as you clearly uh, as you could clearly uh, you could see there was a lot of uh, coolant and that's the reason why we have a lot of fluid on top of the piston it was something unusual but uh, there is something that you have to expect then is that the cylinder wall doesn't have any damage see the cylinder wall is intact uh, this is a good uh, Thing because we can reuse the cylinder walls we can use the pistons and the cylinders we only have to uh, replace the head and we have another look of the piston and uh, you can clearly see that we have a lot of fluid which is not normal on any engine doesn't matter what type of engine is this clearly is clearly a sign that there is a fluid that is getting leaked inside the combustion chamber in this case we know that it's coolant and on the sides you can clearly see uh, the marks of coolant because water doesn't mix with oil that easy it has to go to a hard process to get mixed together uh, um, but uh, is uh, I'm I am uh, happy that I'm able to show you something like this because um, many of you don't have the ability to inspect a problem like this specifically the one I'm showing you right now showing the cause of this uh, problem uh, blowing a lot of uh, exhaust from the tailpipe a lot of fuel uh, engine not working well and definitely that is going to be a clearly sign that you have a broken cylinder head and um, if you wonder how this problem happened um, this problem didn't happen just like that uh, this problem happened because uh, they did a DPF lead on this engine so um, we can uh, clearly see over here 
then uh, see this part over here is completely blocked see that it's completely blocked out because of the EGR delete and uh, we have a major reason why this uh, truck is getting these kind of problems um, there is a solution for this engine uh, there is a fix for this engine yes we can only replace the cylinder head and that will be more than enough to make this engine uh, work again uh, probably uh, inspect the uh, camshaft and see if we have any damage there too that will be the best uh, uh, way to uh, inspect all the other components um, but uh, because this engine has um, DPF delete is possible then it's gonna get the same issue again after replacing the head so uh, it's, it's going to be a never-ending situation with this engine but uh, as the owner as the concern uh, the opinion of the owner he wants to repair it no matter what he wants to fix it he doesn't care about if it's going to happen again so it is just up to him uh, but um, this was a grill demonstration of how a broken cylinder head on a common side sec looks like and uh, it's really hard to see it in my other videos you saw then I already had the cylinder head completely removed and showing you where the cracks are but in this case you can clearly see how the coolant drops inside the cylinder uh, the combustion chamber and uh, this is the reason why you get in coolant, uh, coolant consumption and you get uh, fuel getting on burn to the uh, exhaust pipe the tailpipe and you get misfire probably overheating and stuff like that when you have a sign uh, of a problem like that that means then your engine needs a new cylinder head but uh as for right now this is all i have for you to share um, it's very um, important to see this type of um, problems because now we have a second opinion when we hear a problem like this um, i wanted to inspect something like this i to be honest i never saw something like that i knew that the cylinder head was broken in my prove in my previous videos but i never saw something that was actually dripping coolant because i didn't have the right tools to inspect that's the reason why having a tool like this is very important because it gives you the ability to do things that you are not able to do if you don't have tools like this you have to remove everything in order to inspect it but you are not able to see things when happen in action but up to right now this is all uh, if you have any questions about this video you can use the uh, comment section below and there you can leave all those questions then probably this video didn't answer uh, uh, if you have a problem like this and you fix it please comment below and share your opinions your experiences and your uh, repairs than you did to your comments ISX that way we can help other subscribers with their questions uh, we can make this video more informative by sharing your opinions it's very important but if you want to contact me directly go to Instagram look for me Francisco Mana YouTube and there you can ask me anything directly just be patient at the moment of answer the questions and uh, I will get to you when I help me go to the description of this video I have details how to send support to my channel I creating videos like this requires a little bit of money so helping me with some money will be fine if you can subscribe to the channel and liking the video and sharing the video will be more than enough and uh, stay tuned for the next video coming soon thank you for watching We're gonna have a... Uh...